In this video, we're going to discuss some of the examples of this immune complex mediated diseases, or this type 3. Type 3. So the first disease is SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus. The antigen that's involved is these nuclear antigens, and the clinical pathological manifestations are nephritis, the skin lesions, arthritis, and others. So this is SLE. So these are some skin lesions here on someone's neck where you kind of get this white scaly thing. And, and these are some of the, the skin lesions talked about here in SLE. These are not part of the, these, the lesion. This is just kind of where some, they did a biopsy of the skin lesion. Also, you get a butterfly rash or a malar rash. And it's kind of what they talk, what the butterfly rash or the malar rash is, let's say the, the nose is the body of the butterfly, and then you have the, then you have these wings out here. That's the butterfly rash. So you have a rash on your cheeks, on your nose, and on your other cheek, and that's also called a malar rash, and that's in SLE, or systemic lupus erythematosus. The second one is post streptococcal glomerular nephritis. And what that happens what that means is you get nephritis after you get a streptococcal infection. Post is after streptococcal refers to the type of uh, back, uh, infection. So you have a streptococcal cell wall antigen, okay, maybe planted in the glomerular basement membrane. So Remember how we talked about in that last video how you have this antigen and then you have these these antibodies that will kind of attach to this. Well, this antigen antigen antibody complex or this immune complex gets planted inside this glomerular basement membrane and that causes nephritis. So what you see is you see blood in the urine, you see uh, you know different different you know, the signs and symptoms of nephritis. The next one is polyarteritis nodosa. And what this is, is this is systematic vasculitis. So this is kind of a systemic effect where you have inflammation of the blood vessels all over. And that is responsive response to the hepatitis B virus antigen. You get reactive arthritis is number four. Reactive arthritis and that is due to the bacterial antigens, urashina, and you get acute arthritis. Now, part of one of the types of reactive arthritis arthritis is Reiter's syndrome. And Reiter's syndrome affects the vision, your urethra, urethritis, you get inflammation of the urethra, and it affects the ankles affects the knees, ankles, and feet. So they've come up with this helpful mnemonic. If I have Reiter syndrome, I can't see, can't pee, can't dance with me. And that's part of the reactive arthritis. The serum sickness we've kind of already talked about. Various proteins such as a foreign serum protein, horse anti-thromocyte globulin where they inject this high concentration of these horse uh, globulins inside and that has to do with, and that gives you arthritis, vasculitis, and nephritis. Same type of thing that you have this antibody and antigen complex embedding in itself in joints, in blood vessels, and in the kidney, the three most common sites. Also to be mentioned here is the reason why you have sometimes you get these immune complex mediated diseases is because of the sheer concentration of the antibody or the antigens. If there's really high concentration of these antigens, it's just, it's just kind of the probability of your body clearing this antigen antibody complex. It's not very likely if there's, you know, hundreds and thousands and millions of these little antigens floating around in your blood system. So they inevitably they're going to embed in your blood vessel and cause vasculitis. 
and then you have the Arthas reaction, which is the experimental. You have various foreign proteins, and that's injected into a kind of a local site. And you, what happens is you get cutaneous vasculitis. You kind of get this immune complex mediated diseases more at a local level when it's uh, injected into kind of a local spot. So those are some of the examples of the immune complex mediated diseases type 3. We'll see you in the next video.